percent of the students had trouble with this. So um, let's go through one of the common mistakes that students do with this, all right? One of the common mistakes that students will look at when we do cotangent of view times sine of view plus tangent of view times cosine of view um, is they look into you know, doing maybe the reciprocal identity or the quotient identity um, and converting, trying to convert everything. You don't always have to convert everything when you're doing these problems. What you want to do is only convert enough functions that are just going to help you simplify it. So what I saw a lot was students maybe using this as, you know, they'd say 1 over tangent of u, and then they say, well, sine I can write as 1 over cosecant of u plus 1 over um, cotangent of u times 1 over secant of u. All right? Well, that's correct. I mean, you didn't do anything mathematically wrong, but that's not really helping you simplify this at all. Right? Again, what we want to do is we want to try to get it in terms where we can apply, um, Haley, the division property, all right? where, where functions are going to divide into 1. So what's nice about cotangent and tangent is by using the quotient identity, you guys understand that those are sine over cosine or cosine over sine. So if I, only multi if I only convert my cotangent and my tangent, I notice that I could possibly divide out my sines and my cosines, which would simplify the expression. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's rewrite cotangent as cosine of u over sine of u. And I'm not going to touch anything with sine, because I know that's in the numerator, and I'm going to want to cancel. I'm going to want to divide it out with something. Tangent is sine of u over cosine of u times cosine of u. So by me selecting which trig functions I want to simplify, not doing everything. You don't have to simplify everything. But by doing it this way, I can now see that, remember these signs are in the numerator, the cosines in the numerator. So therefore, I can see that these signs are now going to divide the 1, and the cosines are now going to divide the 1, leaving me with an expression, Sarah, which is cosine of u plus sine of u. Yes? Okay. Yes? I did that, but can you just leave it like that? Mm-hmm. The, our, um, our usual, what we usually want to do is be able to get it you know, to either one, either a number, or to you know, common expressions. However, these we can't simplify any further. So um, that would be the simplified version. Not always are we going to have just one trigonometric function or one number. But that's usually what you're trying to get it down to. But there's going to be sometimes we're going to have expressions that are going to be a little more complicated, but you just can't simplify any further. Okay. <coughs> 